All right, guys. So the Matco truck is here. Let's see if I can get where y'all can see the passenger this week. Hey, they got riding with them. Hard to see, but they're selling. So somebody's in the Christmas spirit, or kind of in the Christmas spirit, I guess. <laughs> kind of. I bet your little boy thinks that's cool, don't he? Oh, it scares him to death. Oh, really? Yes. If um, whenever it blows up, the hat like pops, and when it does, mm -mm. oh, he you don't know. like it. No, our little girl, I had it in my Tahoe, and so she was, she can buckle herself in, and I told her, I said, all right, Brenna, get up here, buckle in, and while I put, it, I go around and put Bubba in. She said, okay. So, you know, it has a remote start. So I started. Well, she's got her chest clip in, and she's working on the other parts. That hat popped up, and I swear that if she could have come out of that car, she started having it come apart, hollering. She thought somebody was up front, but That's then she funny. wanted to sit with her, so she was fine. So. That's good. Yeah. Well, y'all got some cool stuff in. Yeah, I figured we needed some kind of stuff. It was on the way, it just didn't get here last week. Matco tags, mm -hmm. hoodies, earbuds. Yeah, and these there's a distributor that posted a lot on these now i don't know if this is the exact one i think it's the 615 that they're showing mine hasn't come in yet so cool. this is the one that they sent i ordered both and that's the one that i got but and i got the new ratchets with the extensions and the yeah. little foam tray that's yeah. cool those are doing good and these are the new style earbuds now i hadn't had anybody I just put them on the truck today, you know, this morning. So nobody's seen them. So I'm not sure how they're gonna work out <laughs> because I know whenever we do the green and the pink ones, people buy them for Christmas. Yeah. But as far as the quality of them, I'm not 100%. Not so sure, huh? I'm not <laughs> gonna say they're, they're not Apple or Samsung by no means, but mm -hmm. they're, should be pretty decent. The That's other ones are. Cool. I still have my first version of mine. Everybody else has went through three or four pairs. <laughs> I think it's just how you treat them, maybe. Well, my problem is I lose earbuds. Yeah, because they're so tiny. Problem. See, the first version of them, they were the size of a dime. Mm -hmm. And you could put them in your ear and you couldn't even feel them. Well, the second, they were bigger. Well, my ears are smaller, so mine wouldn't. My, they wouldn't fit no matter what little black piece I put on there they wouldn't fit yeah so those are the longer style which I can open a pair and show you I thought because I guess that's where everybody's going to now is the longer one so and then this is actually a speaker also oh cool I'll let you that's neat so, I'm so those are those are a little longer they're about like the original air yeah they, pods or whatever yeah, you call them hang down your ear yeah, that's cool. I'm proud of y'all getting some of that novelty type stuff in this. I know. But see, I'm, Michael don't order a lot of that stuff. I do, so. <laughs> and he's well, like me. most guys have got a lot of tools, you know, so it's kind of hard to. Well, I think it's funny too is a bunch of wives, this is what they get for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's because the husband, the last minute, that's what I used to get. Uh, yeah, Michael's whatever's distributor. on the tool truck. Yep. He was uh, John Shelton of Tupelo. So that's what I'd get. Whatever little novelty thing he had out, that's what Michael got me. Well, so. see, Joe used to have a drawer in his tool truck and it had like, his wife sold some kind of jewelry, right? Oh, okay. So he had like all this different kind of like girly stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And um, there ain't no telling how many people would buy that because they'd do something and get a little in trouble, you know, and they could bring home a yeah, $25 mean, pair of earrings and life was grand. Yeah, and then they can make payments on it. So See, I, I told okay. everybody, I said, look, man, women's real easy to figure out. They're like raccoons. Whatever is sparkly and shiny, that's what they like. Just go that route and you're all good. Well, see, 
I'm different. I'm not really a shiny person. I like unique stuff. So my mother-in-law and I, we would go to yard sales and it would be like the most random stuff. And there's one I still have. It's a donkey. It's this big and it's got a feather tail. And I love that little thing. I gave 50 cents for it. And it's, it made me the happiest thing. You know, you can go spend $100, $200 on yeah. a bag or something like that. No, I want something random. That's like Caroline. You can get her something. Like when we got her that little remote control car, she liked it, but she liked the box as well as the car. I know. I'm like, really? We could or, have got a free but, refrigerator box. Exactly. <laughs> or whenever, like, our kids are the world's worst, we get a toolbox. You know, those yeah. boxes are huge. Mm -hmm. So I make houses out of them. Right. Well, the UPS guy pulled up. He's like, what is that? Because it had, like, big old Mako tools on the side, and it was, like, peaked at the top, mm -hmm. and it had, like, windows cut out of it, and I had cobwebs around it because it was during Halloween. And he was like, you know, you could paint that and stuff. I said, I don't need to paint it. I said, they are just content yep. like this right here. I said, you throw some cobwebs and cut you some holes. I said, they are fine. Happy as can be. But I mean. Well, everybody's wanting to know, there's probably been at least 30 people ask, mm -hmm. what is Mama Matko's name? Uh, so nobody's ever known your name except for like, the people on the, on Oh, the I thought you were talking about my mother-in-law. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. They don't need my name. They need to know Michael's name. <laughs> well, I didn't ever tell anybody because I didn't know if you wanted it no, out there. So that's why I was like, oh, I'll just ask her. So oh. be up to her. Well, my name's Leslie. There you and go. And that's what I go by. I go by Mrs. Michael Mako. But if you notice on the side of the truck, it says Boss Lady. It does. So. But, hey, I'm working on getting my name on those red letters down there, too. I just got to get my machine back working. There it decided to eat my vinyl. Very expensive vinyl. <laughs> and they don't care. <laughs> well, I'm sporting my Matco hoodie from last year. You are. Y'all are finally gotting some new ones in. You need that one right there. Yeah. That's the last one I got, too. Is it I extra large? One. It is. All right. See? There you go. I ain't even going to ask how much it is. Nope. You're just going to take it. Just like the guitar, I shouldn't even ask. I should have just <laughs> nope. walked off here and not looked at the receipt and everything would have been you good. You just tell me to schedule you to run and that's all that matters. Well, I can say this, the Matco guitar is a beautiful guitar. It is. It's pretty, but it's 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 a looker, not a worker. It's, well, see, yeah. like I said, I don't have a clue. It's a like good looking guitar, but it's not a player. So if you're looking to buy that guitar as a player guitar, that ain't the one to get. <laughs> well, to me, okay, so that to me is more of a novelty, mm -hmm. like like that stuff. Yep. It's more like you have it on there hung up on the wall to be seen, mm -hmm. not played. Yep. So, but I'm going to be honest, the bump boxes that have Mako on them, and you can go and you can get a regular bump box that's cheaper, it's just not rebranded, and it plays just as good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, my, my Mako one is just as good Them as things the, are ridiculous high though just like yeah. not even not like the matco one just the just regular the ones they're Look, i got crazy expensive. i don't have the biggest one that bump box has i have the one that matco did my neighbor is on my friday shop and he's like i can tell when y'all are in a good mood because i can hear you music because <laughs> he's like five houses down yeah and we live in like hills and valleys and two and then my husband's aunt and them they's like yeah we can tell when y'all are out on y'all's porch <laughs> <laughs> or back there whenever we were at the pool yeah yeah it's ain't nothing wrong with that well, they're good great music's um, good for you christmas gifts good christmas gifts so like i will never you know my son he plays guitar mm -hmm. a lot and uh how you can hook your guitar up to it too do you know that yeah we've got those monster rock and rollers now what are those um they're big like they're like a 15 inch speaker or something in them that's and, pretty uh, decent size speaker but you can hook two of them together so but yeah i don't know uh, i don't condone or i don't fuss about any loud music and stuff uh, there are certain types of music i'm not too crazy about but usually if it's got a guitar in it it's a safe bet like yeah. it don't matter if it's from the 50s from the beatles all the way up to like some hard rock stuff i'm cool with that as long as it's got guitar in it i'm perfectly fine with it look i have a shop i go to it sometimes on a monday sometimes on a wednesday depending on what day the tech's working i can go in there one day like that and it's 50s like this music mm -hmm. i have never heard before and then the next it's stuff you can't understand 
whether it be rap or rock, it just, and the other, it's country, and then it's yeah. Christian rock. I'm like, what do y'all do? Just make a playlist of what so 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 wants to <laughs> listen to? Well, did you see the uh, story that I did on Instagram where I showed the guitar and yes. Chicken was up here and he played it? You know? All right, we got the brand new Matco guitar here. Chicken, mm. play him a little uh, Human Nature by Michael Jackson. Try that thing out. Pretty sweet. That's what I've been telling him. I'm like, man, I know you think like today's music's cool, but like if you really want to explore what a guitar can do, you got to wind way back to the 50s, like with Les Paul, like mm -hmm. the guy that made the Les Paul yeah. guitar. Like that's some stuff that'll blow your mind, you know, like the old school rock and roll, because they don't have all the digital processors and they didn't have all the, del I mean, obviously, I think Les Paul actually came out with the delay. He's the one that invented it as well. But like back then, what you hear is what come out of the guitar. It's not run through a computer and oversampled and, you know. Or what you heard them sing like is exactly yeah. what they were going to sing like. There wasn't no like auto tune <laughs> back then. <laughs> I hate whenever I listen to like, okay, what was it, the CMA Awards or something like that? Mm -hmm. And... They come out there and they sing, and it ain't nothing like what's on my radio. <laughs> some of them are, but some of them ain't. Yeah. And it's like, you don't need that much. I mean, you got a beautiful voice anyways, don't, mm -hmm. you know. Which we've been doing a lot of electronic press kits for bands, you mm -hmm. know, doing videos and stuff for them. And there's a reason why all these bars and stuff now want an electronic press kit, because it has to be a live recording. It can't oh. be mixed. And uh, I was actually talking to a guy that books a lot of bands. I mean, he was talking about, he's like, dude, I have had bands send me auditions that was just phenomenal. He said, you put them up here on the stage. He, sounds, he said, it sounds like two cats fighting oh. in a garbage can. Oh, my <laughs> and I started God. laughing. I was like, all right, so I get it now. But that's the reason why, because everything's cleaned up and post-processing and it's a disappointment when they don't have that feature there, you know. So. And the ones that can actually sing and stuff like that, they get, because they don't have that mm -hmm. option, you know, like the way you do videos, they don't have that. They've got a iPhone yeah. or a Samsung that's going to have to do their recording. <laughs> <coughs> well, to a lot of it, you know, like a phone will actually clip. Oh. Um, it'll actually, like if the drummer's too loud or whatever, it'll actually bring that down, you know, a little bit and... And live recording, it's it is what it is. Like if it sounds bad, it sounds bad. So, <laughs> well, that's that's what you look for. But anyway, those tags are cool. The hoodies are cool, so I'm about to get some of that stuff. But anyway, guys, we've taken enough of your Saturday morning, even though it's not our Saturday morning. It's your Saturday morning. But like always, thanks for watching. Now you know Miss Leslie's name. You don't have to call her Mrs. Matco anymore, although that's what we call her. That is. <laughs> like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.